Good morning, everyone. Myself, Murli Reddy. In this video, we are going to discussing about how to set up the SSH connection manually. Okay, let's see the demo. Okay, I have created two servers. One is Ansible server and destination server. From this particular Ansible server, I want to connect to the destination server. Okay, I already connected both, uh, login in both servers. Okay, now in this particular Ansible server, from Ansible servers to destination server, I need to connect. How we can connect? Using SSH will be connected. Okay, let's see the demo. And first, we have to generate the public key and private key. Okay, public key and private key using SSH hyphen keygen. SSH hyphen keygen. Using SSH hyphen keygen, you can create. Okay, you can create public and private RSA. Okay, RSA public and private you can create. Okay, just enter. If you observe here, it will be saved to inside the dot SSH directory. But what I'm doing here. I'm going to exit to EC type and user. Okay, we can set up in EC type and user. Same thing, I'm back to this uh, EC type and user. Instead of setup in root user, I'm set up in EC type and user only. Okay, now I'm using SSH type and keys and enter. The file will be stored in inside home directory EC type and user. The reason is currently I'm in EC type and user, right? That is the reason. And inside it will be having dot SSH directory. Inside the dot SSH directory, the RSA private key will be created. Okay, just enter, enter, enter. If you observe here, here it is created two files. One is id underscore RSA. Second one is id underscore RSA dot pub. Id underscore RSA dot pub is a public key. Okay, id underscore RSA is a private key. Okay, this particular public key we have to copy to the destination server. Okay, as I said initially, we are going to copy that public key destination server. How we can do? Let's see. Okay, before going to do, I'm going to inside SSH directory. If you see here, I'm in home directory inside EC type and user. We have a dot SSH directory. Okay, if you give the LL command, we have a three files. One is authorize underscore keys. Inside the authorize underscore keys, we will be declared the this particular public key. For example, in this destination server, you want to connect to Ansible server. What you have to do here, it will be generated a public key right in destination server. The particular destination server public key will be declared inside the authorize underscore keys. But in our case, this particular Ansible server, we need to copy this public key to the destination server. Okay, what I'm doing here, copy uh, use cat command id underscore rsa dot pub, it will be generated right. You can copy this one. We have to declare this public key to destination server currently i am in destination server if you see here we are in home directory ec type and user in destination server okay now you can go to the inside ssh here default author is underscore keys file will be there open this file okay here insert mode just enter now the cursor will be in top just right click and it will be automatically pasted the reason is i have copied here right i have pasted here remember this public this particular public key okay id underscore rsa dot public key you have to paste in inside the destination authorize underscore keys file okay i have pasted just save this file okay well and good now go to the uh, source now you can now currently i mean home directory ec2 hyphen user i'm using ssh command ec2 hyphen user okay and this is the ec2 hyphen user i'm connecting to destination server ec2 hyphen user here at the rate, you have to provide the public key or private key of destination server. I'm selecting this destination server. Here we have a here we have a public key, public IP and private IP. Remember, in real time, we, we will be use private IP. For practicing purpose, you can use either public IP or private IP. I'm also selecting the private IP only. Copy this one. Just give here. Okay, now I'm entering. When you set up first time, it will ask yes or no option. Just give the S button. When you give this, you are connected to the destination server. If you observe here, EC2 hyphen user, this is the IP is private IP is destination server IP. If you observe here, 172, 31, 13, 143. I have connected destination server, right? I have connected. Okay. What is the main intention here? From Ansible server, I have connected to the destination server. Okay. What is right? Currently, I'm what I'm doing here, I'm using touch command, I'm creating file. Okay. If you see here, LL command, I have created. If you go to the destination server, currently, if you give, uh, go to home directory, easy type and user, give the LL command. Now the file is created. The reason is 
I mean, in from destination uh, from Ansible server, I have connected the destination server. I have created a file also using touch command. And one more thing, remember when you are using SSH EC type and user command, okay, whatever here when you give the S command, it is permanently added to the noun host file, okay. For the particular destination server information, it will be stored in noun host file. Where this file is available, go to the SSH file. Here, one file, extra file, sorry, uh, exit from that uh, destination server. Currently, I mean Ansible server. Go to the SSH. Okay. Here, if you see here, extra file is created when you set up the SSH, SSH command. When you connect the particular destination server, one file is created. The reason is this particular destination information, it will be stored in here inside the noun host file. Give the cat command, give the noun host file. If you observe here, it is stored. What is right? This IP is a private IP of destination server. When you use SSH command, it will be verifying this particular noun host file. If it is exist, it means it won't ask yes or no option. For example, I am using again EC type and user. Okay, earlier it was asked uh, yes or no option, right? This time it won't ask. Okay, copy private IP, give here IP. Now if you see here, this time it, it, it haven't asked. The reason is inside noun host file, it is already stored. This particular private IP is already stored. It means, okay, we already connected this server. No need to ask again, yes or no option. Okay, got it right. Any questions now? No, right? Now I'm exit existing to that particular destination server. Okay, use the exit command. Okay, fine. Now I mean Ansible server only, okay? Now what I'm doing here, okay? I'm every time I'm, I'm giving SSH iPhone name. Uh, I'm not giving that, just giving SSH iPhone, EC to iPhone user, and I'm giving the destination server, right? Okay, what will happen? Internally, if you are not giving, just giving this command, what will happen? Internally, it will go to this SSH file, okay? This this particular ID underscore RSA private key will be called. Okay, even though if you are not declaring here, internally default, this part will be take this file will be take rsa file will be take in case this particular rsa file having different location you have to pass that particular private key you have to pass that particular private key how you can pass just give the ssh iphone 9 okay example in our case we have a inside the dot ssh directory we have a id underscore id underscore sorry what i'm doing here uh, back ssh dot ssh sorry ssh iphone i iphone is nothing but inventory file dot ssh inside dot ssh we have a id underscore rsa okay then if you have to give like this okay by default if you are not giving also default it will take this file only private file private key file okay in case if you have a different location you have to mention iphone a and you have to give the private key in different location private key file path remember this point default if you are not giving also directly connecting the reason is inbuilt it will take inside the dot ssh id underscore rsa private key only but in case if we have a different location you have stored that particular private key you have to pass using iphone i command iphone is nothing but inventory file you have to declare that id underscore rsa private key path Okay, got it right? Even if you give that, it will be connected. I hope you understand right? What I'm saying here, the main intention here, what I'm saying, in case that particular ID underscore RSA in different location, you have to do SSH i and then you have to declare that particular ID underscore RSA path, then you have you can connect. But inbuilt, we have a dot SSH directory, ID underscore RSA, it is taking that file, even though if you are not giving i and mention that path. Okay, I hope you understand that. Fine. Next one is some of the use cases. Okay, you are not able to connect the particular Linux server using SSH. What might be the reason? The reason is some of the use cases, the particular SSHD service won't be run. Sorry. System CTL status SSHD. Remember, this SSHD is nothing but we are connecting SSH, right? That particular SSH service name is sshd if it is not running this one what will happen you can't log into the particular server through ssh command okay remember 
if this particular ssh command is not running what will happen what will happen you can't log into the linux server using ssh command so better to check whether this ssh ssh is running or not if you if you are not able to connect the particular linux server you have to verify this whether this particular service is running or not got it right if it is not running you can't able to log in example i'm show, uh, showing here in destination server we can give it system ctl okay system ctl uh, status ssh okay give it here okay fine now what i'm doing here i'm stopping this service stop this service okay now you are not able to stop okay no issues usually SSD for more details you are not able to stop it fine fail to stop the name org okay it is not able to stop it usually what will happen if it is this particular service is stopped you can't able to log in from here okay from this particular source to destination you can't able to log in remember you should verify that sshd is running or the particular service is running or not if in case if you are not able to connect the particular linux server through ssh command what is right if you have any questions feel free to comment i will try to respond as soon as possible thanks for watching this video we will see you next video